Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you my method of creating a simple beach waves using a single plane force. First you gotta create a container and as I always say, reduce the cell size to around 500,000 to 600,000 cells to make a smooth simulation. Uh, and make sure that the container walls are jammed in the negative directions. Next in the dynamics uh, rollout, enable initial fill up to around 10 to 15 percent. It really depends on your preference and your container size. So if your container is huge, then you know make it to maybe around 25 to 30 percent. As you can see, we have a simple fill up. Also enable show mesh from the preview section so you can see how the simulation is working. As you can see, the plane force is already affecting the simulation. Uh, now let's create the plane force that affects this sim actually. I was honestly just messing around with the liquid sim and forces so I just came up with this. Anyway, uh, let the plane force face the left side where the water initially you know, flows then rotate it to 180 degrees to create this wave force. This makes the fluid go back, lift up and then flow forward. Now I'll show you the water material that is used here. Wow, <laughs> it sounds so bad. Uh, make sure it's literal glass material with blue diffuse and fog color. Uh, actually, the fog color matters the most. As you can see, we are already getting this basic water look. Let's create a box and add a sand material. This will elevate the look of the water and make it look a bit realistic. Now I'll show you how wet maps work. Go down to the dynamics rollout and enable wetting. To create a wet material, just copy uh, the dry sand material and go to the output channel and enable color map and proceed to lower the bar to create a darker material. And you know, if you're, you know, I don't know, you couldn't find some sand materials, there's always Quixel. I use Quixel Megascans material for this. Just go to the website, they have this amazing set of uh, materials there. So yeah. Now, to actually make these blend, add a V-Ray material. I mean V-Ray blend material. The base should be dry sand and in coat materials, add wet sand material and for the uh, what do you call the map texture, just add phoenix particle texture. In the source add the phoenix liquid obviously and select wet map. I just created a copy of the box so you can see how the wet map works. It works fine for now. Play with the settings to see how and you know what could be improved. Next enable foam and splash mist from the respective rollouts. And as you can see it creates a separate shaders for uh, foam and splash. And yeah here's my settings but obviously for you guys it might be different so you know play around with the settings check what works for you. And now if I render, you can see the foam. It's looking pretty okay, pretty decent for, let's say, 500,000 cells. Yeah. And so that's it, guys, with this tutorial. So I hope you learned something useful. If you did, do like this video and subscribe. Uh, and as always, cheers.